Good evening, guys. We are back again. So here we have um, the continuation video about geometry of straight lines. So initially we spoke about corresponding angles. Then we spoke about co-interior angles. And then we spoke about alternating angles. So now we have to speak about vertically opposite angles. So quickly, uh, these are the notes we had so far. So if um, I get the chance, when I'm done, I'll post these notes on the last video of this YouTube series. So here, let me quickly copy this so that we can use it. Here we go, um, somewhere here. So in this case, we want to talk about vertically. This is not visible. This is too bad. Let's use a proper pen. Um, what else can I use? What else can I use? Tough choices. Okay, let's try this one. No, this is too bad. Um, what else? What else can we use? Yeah. This is much better vertically opposite angles so for vertically opposite angles let's underline there are people who don't underline so please make sure you underline vertically opposite angles we only have one aspect they are equal that is that that's all vertically opposite angles they don't need parallel lines they don't need anything we just know that vertically opposite angles are equal that's all that's all basically they are equal so which means now i'm only looking for an x formation that forms i know that the opposite angles in that x formation they are equal same thing applies to this one the opposite angles in this x formation they are equal same thing applies to something like this the opposite angles in this x formation they are equal basically that's all there's no trick to this one right so vertically opposite angles are easier to find so let's find all of them now now i'm going to write the first one and then please use the chance to write the next one so here Let's try to use this pen. Let's look at this angle. What do we call this angle? E2. For those who guessed E2, thank you. Um, this thing keeps on giving me problems, keeps on disappearing. Yeah. Angle E2. Okay, it's disappeared again. Here we go. Let me write this properly. It's wasting my time. So, we are saying here, angle E2 is equal to, what can this angle be equal to? It is equal to E4. So, if you guessed E4, that is proper. So, E2 is equal to E4. And the reason for that, E2 is equal to E4. Okay, I don't know why this thing keeps on disappearing for some reason the reason is that you have vertically opposite angles vertically opposite angles that's what you have Okay, this thing it looks tired now. Because it keeps on making my figures disappear. So E2 is equals to E4. The reason for that is that we have vertically opposite angles. So please find for me all the pairs that are vertically opposite. Quick quick pause the video and see if you can find them. 
and then from here i'll just resume the video so i'll just hope that you wrote all of them so in this case we also have the following we have e1 which is equals to what e3 reason for that it's because these are vertically opposite angles so when it comes to writing these reasons remember you need an answer and an answer must be accompanied by the reason if you forgot how to write the reason in its shorter version just write the reason in full weight for you to be on the same side on the safe side so, so now the next uh, pair of vertically opposite angles i have b1 b1 must be equal to 1 to b3 so b1 and b3 are equal by which reason because they are vertically opposite angles which means in this case if i have an x formation this angle must be equal to that angle because they are opposite next one i have b2 angle b2 must be equal to what to angle b4 reason for that is because they are vertically opposite angles that way so those those are all the pairs we have for vertically opposite angles so um i'll have to pause this video and then i'll do the next one about adjacent angles on a straight line so that will be uh, more or less almost the last version of this basic explanation of these nodes